Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. I'm going to unbox Google Nest Mini. My very first Google Assistant, voice assistant, do so many different commands. It's called Google Nest Mini. is a small speaker and as you can see, it says second gen. Also it says, you can say, hey Google, okay Google. So, and then can say the command, play YouTube on telly or turn off tally or something like that spotify you can command for google calendar remind me to pick up the cake at 5 p.m on friday is like a reminder you can put on and uh, it's work with a google do is call mom is gonna call for you it's work for philips you dim the kitchen lights you can give the command to dim light turn on off you can come on for netflix play stranger things on the netflix is a small and mighty google and the picture also this side it says turn up music it's mini speaker with a big sound control tv lights thermostat and 100 smart devices with your voice make a call set the timer check the weather and more hands free so guys let's do quick unboxing I apologize because every item i do is brand new for me i have no experience about those things i'm not professional so i just do things i know and as much as information can give you so let's open the box i unwrapped it okay so that's the start of the show the mini speaker by itself let's quick look what it says so that's the one if you want to hang it on the wall and i had it in black color as you can see that's the back it says g google sign and that's the this look like that's the button on side or turn the mic on and off as you can see when it's red it's mean and the mic is off when it's this way it means mic is on. Under my thumb there is a code for this device to set up. That's the thing you can hook it to the wall. This is thing for the power cable. This is for hanging on the wall if you like. Otherwise you can put anywhere you like. So that's the this device. Dig in to the rest of the box first take this package that's the just the packaging and uh, let's see what underneath this packaging okay that's the booklet let's get started it's a quick user manual and let me open and quickly show you what it says it says connect the power adapter to google mini yeah. first you need to connect the power thingy and then you have to set up through the mobile as you can see and just start it with a hey google listen to the music come on your day get things so these are the things that they said first page is like that you can pause it and read through if you like i just open the page quickly to show you you can pause the video and read through if you are interested but if not just if you like to watch as normal you can or you can just skip this part and do the forward and thus it says being a part of your home means respecting your privacy here is how to control privacy and that's the privacy thing if you like to read through so again if you like you can pause and read through and the last thing this is the safety guide the warranty things so this i can focus as well if someone likes to read through 
uh, I show you all pages the last one is this one so these are the paperwork by the way uh, this is another packaging thing yeah and now the I think the, that's the last bit so no box is empty nothing else in the box that's a RUK plug and that's the jack for the power this kind of goes to next to the mic button and that's the power cable and the UK plug and the jack this looks like quite long but I don't like because it's a white cable with this black speaker the white cable black and white I don't know why they make this combination they should give black cable but that's what it is this is the plug so that's the jack goes into the part that's very common thing everybody knows so let me quickly do the plug in and see what it says i know you are gonna be excited as well you want to see a little bit in action um, how it does and what it does so i give you in bonus to show you not give you to show you all those things as you can see the device is turned on the leds and three leds turn on hi to get started download the google home app on a phone or tablet the microphone is back on as you see i just turn it on it says download the google home app i just switched the phone i'm using the old phone and i'm just downloading the google home app as you can see on the note 10 uh, 5g plus as you can see it's downloading it so as soon it's gonna be ready it's done so it says open i'm gonna show you as much i can get started it says let me put side by side so it says get started is my email okay location next allow all the time okay allow only okay allow all the time okay it's looking for the device He it says it's nest mini as you can see it's showing a dog because it's focusing on the mobile so yeah i say yes so it's setting up the brightness uh, connecting nest mini as you can see it's changing the light is red at the moment do you hear the sound this let you know that you're connected to right nest mini yes it's just make a little sound help to improve nest mini automatically share device set crash uh, no thanks i always skip this thingy because it does uh, you know too many things and hopefully it's gonna reset by the switch on and off where is this device choose the location for the nest mini it depends everybody's preference you know some people like to be in bedrooms some people like to be in kitchen some people living room some people hallway it's only on your preference so it's up to you where you want to put the device so let's say at the moment it's in the entryway, in the bathroom, garage, living room, lift, master bedroom, add as a custom hallway. Let's say I said as a custom, next custom room name, give I say H A hall way hallway okay it says hallway and continue it says 
my network name to connect so I need to sorry I need to pause the video because I'm going to do my password use the same password I think it's already saved so I might be don't need it let's see press ok let's see let's try to connect with my Wi-Fi So that's my Note 10 Plus 5G anyway. So it says before using your Google Assistant, here are a few things to know before using your Nest Mini. It says Google partner or business that have a commercial relationship with the Google service. Your privacy when you use Assistant Talk service, Google shares information with services so that it can fulfill your requests guest and your assistant let friends and families know that their interaction will be stored in your google account unless they link their account it means if anyone speak to that google device let's say they say any command or anything is gonna be safe in my account unless they attach them account as well they put them details so it's gonna save on that because I think it does recognize the voices as well so let's do the next let's see what it does on the next sorry guys I'm having a bit difficulty to signing in in home app Netflix I'm gonna do later the moment I set up uh, let me try okay Google what's the time Oh, sorry, no wonder it's not working because the physical mic button I turned it off. The microphone is back on. So now it's on. So let's see, try the command now. Okay, Google, what's the time? It's 1.53. It does work. And let me check if the volume touch is working. See, when you touch, okay, let me, okay. Left side is volume up, right side is volume down. And as you can see when the volume goes up, the lights, bright lights turn up one by one. And when volume down, is all touch system. So that's the thing. Okay, Google, uh, could you sing a song for me? I don't have any Bollywood songs right now. But I can search online for some. Hey Google, how old are you? I'm a baby in people years. I'm a kid in dog years. And I'm retired in bug years. As you can see, while it's doing command, I can turn volume up and down. So you can give any kind of command. Okay Google, could you turn off my TV? Sure, turning off Samsung Q60 Series 55. I can't show you guys the TV, but uh, it's definitely turned off. So that's the good thing. I don't have my smart bulb yet, but I do have a smart plug. Okay, Google, could you turn off smart plug? Sure, turning off smart plug. As you can see, it does know, otherwise it's going to say I don't have any smart plug, so it does turn it off. Okay, Google, could you turn on smart plug? Sure, turning on smart plug. So it does turn on smart plug. Let me see if I have in this mobile, that's the old mobile we have, to show you smart things I do have I just opened the app it says bedroom one is found so as you can see TV is off so let me come on again okay Google can you turn on TV sure turning Samsung Q60 series 55 on 
the sure sure see it goes blue I answer the best I can okay Google turn off TV sure turning Samsung Q60 series 55 off as you can see is on this mobile it shows TVs I can't show you because right now I'm in kitchen so that's very tiny device uh, if you want to compare it that's s6 edge plus mobile compared to this device is that big that's the samsung plug usually mostly people have with the devices samsung devices so you can roughly have an idea how big the device is is little bit similar thickness or height you can say as I set up my device is set on my phone so let me try to make a call hey Google could you call SK there are two people with that name 786 SK or SK Vodafone on site which one do you want to call? Vodafone. No. Sorry, which SK? 786. One more time. There are two matches for that name. 786 SK or SK Vodafone on site. Say the full name or say, for example, the first one. First one. Sorry, I'm having trouble. You might want to try again later. Okay, Google, could you call SK786? Home, other, or pack laser mobiles? Other. Choose from the following list. Number one. Your number two. Number one. Calling 786SK, other. Please check the number and dial again. Okay, Google. Could you call Papa Bike, Manchester? Sorry, I can't help with that when you're in a call. End the call. Okay, Google. Can you call Papa Bike? Calling Papa's bike on Lautasar on T in Helsinki. Unfortunately, calls to this number are currently not supported. Goodbye. Okay, Google. Could you tell me the joke? Why don't some couples go to the gym? Because some relationships don't work out. Ha ha ha. Nice joke, Google. So YouTube, as you see, the assistant, how is trying to help me when I send the command is very useful as long as you know the command. So give command the google gonna try to best answer as possible the mic is very sensitive it does pick up more sensitive than any other devices like mobile and other things it does work better on these speakers because they built for this thingy so usually when we're getting ready we don't have watch on because this speaker is very sensitive you can call them from the distance and it's cheap enough for some general population they can afford each that's why they made cheap as possible because multiple room have this device you don't need to be shout you know and especially when you are upstairs or downstairs in far distance rooms it doesn't catch your voice. If you have multiple speakers, the dots, that's why I bought it to do experiment. And if it does work, it does give me help. So then I'm gonna have some more multiple devices to have in different places. So we can come on from anywhere. So at the moment, I'm trying to put this one in my hallway. So from there, we can come on things so thank you very very much for watching my video as you can see this is the device so if you
click on the left side it does the volume up I think it, it goes like this that's why I was wondering why is the volume up is on the left side should be on the right hand side so because the device goes like that now volume up on the right hand side and volume down is on the left hand side as you can see so guys if you have any suggestion question or anything you want to say do say in the comments below i really appreciate you watch the video give me time and give the thumbs up to the video and share and i will meet you in the next video with the either review or with a new unboxing so till that i sign off take care office goodbye